Hello everybody, Avishai here with another episode of What Is Real Is. Um, I figured I'll take a bit of a break from the series I'm doing right now about the historical background of the conflict in order to um, bring forth um, some more recent news uh, as far as Israel goes. This is um, specifically about our fabled Prime Minister. If you recall, or if you are at all familiar with uh, this little, I guess, podcast, uh, you, you might recall that I've discussed Bibi at length uh, with regards to his tendencies uh, of disposing of uh, people of note within the Likud party. So any possible rival, uh, he is very keen uh, of, of just finding sleaze on them or creating such a situation that will force them to, um, well, retirement, essentially. Uh, he has done this several times, but Bibi is currently in some trouble. And this is not something that I say very lightly. Typically, uh, Bibi exudes this kind of... I, I guess I'd call him like a Teflon Prime Minister in that nothing seems to stick to him. But I think it's just kind of appearances. And as time goes, uh, goes by, it becomes harder and harder to just uh, um, keep these appearances going. And things do stick in the long run. So... Everybody in Israel knows that Mrs. Netanyahu is essentially a, a, a psychopath. Um, she is known to be very ostentatious in her tastes, and those tastes are often paid by taxpayer money. And this is something that is well known. Uh, and she is also known to be abusive towards their uh, staff uh, in in their home. So um, and and the way Bibi deflects from this is saying, if you've got uh, dirt uh, uh, directed at me, leave my wife out of this. Except that you know. It would be one thing if um, she was, well, first off, she's abusive towards staff, so that's a, a big problem that could possibly be a criminal. Uh, but she is also, uh, as I said, uh, using taxpayer mo money to, to fund an ostentatious lifestyle. Um, and uh, what may be the most important point here is that she is also interfering in politics, um, or at least tries. Uh, there have been known instances where people would not be promoted uh, because Sarah Netanyahu didn't like them. So that is that is essentially why I think that you can't give her the she's a private person defense because she really isn't. But that aside, that's just that's just one of the many uh things that the skeletons in in Benjamin Netanyahu's closet Currently, Bibi is under investigation by the Israeli police for three different uh, cases, 
which may if, if the if something turns out essentially and if if um, the uh, police manages to to indict BB uh, this may turn out to be something that is irrecoverable that he can't come back from this if something turns out and 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 it's a big if because people operators like BB have a tendency to 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 kind of uh, shrug their way out of situations like this uh, there are for example there's uh, an, another politician by the name of uh, Yvette Lieberman or Avigdor Lieberman depends on whether he's uh, Israeli or Belarusian or actually Moldovan I think yeah I think he's Moldovan never mind um, he was under investigation for all sorts of uh, uh, um, essentially theft and, and corruption charges and somehow all sorts of uh, witnesses started disappearing um, essentially I, I don't think BB will make people disappear. Uh, I don't think he's that kind of a person. Uh, but I can imagine him uh, making people who were, to begin with, willing to testify against him suddenly change their mind. That I can see. Um, but but I, I should probably elaborate on what essentially the the police is looking into so there are a, there are as I said three things uh, first um, BB has uh, received gifts essentially uh, from several uh, billionaires uh, from broad uh, for for one, uh, Arnon Milchen, who's um, erstwhile Israeli but now involved in the movie industry in in the states, and uh, a businessman by the name of James Packer. Uh, so he's been receiving all sorts of gifts from them, including, uh, for example, uh, champagne bottles and. Uh, Cuban cigars, things like that. Uh, so, so the police are looking into this because essentially he's. This is not something that a uh, 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 um, prime minister should not be able to receive gifts from uh, from people of, of money and influence, uh, as this could. Uh, mount to bribery. Um, the second case is the police are looking into his ties to uh, corruption in Israeli journalism. This is something that maybe a, a lot of people don't discuss very openly, but Benjamin Netanyahu essentially has a uh, canard, a newspaper that is essentially Netanyahu propaganda. He does not own it. The pe person who does own it, and I know people in America, and, and, and not just in America, currently talk a lot about George Soros. Uh, this person is a lot worse, and I'm not doing any favors to anti-Semites by pointing out another, <laughs> you know, uh, member of the tribe, but uh, Sheldon Adelson. Sheldon Adelson is uh, those who, who are not in the know, is a, is a business mogul, 
uh, involved in, among many things, uh, casinos, and he is heavily involved in funding the uh, Republican uh, Party and, and specifically nom Republican nominees during elections, and he is heavily involved in the promotion of Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel. And he owns, uh, he is the founder, essentially, of a uh, newspaper that is uh, distributed for free and is, well, essentially they don't have a business model. Uh, they are not earning money. Um, it's called Israel Today, and it's a propaganda newspaper uh, whose sole purpose is to, to uh, um, deify Benjamin Netanyahu. The funny thing is that this is not what the police are looking into right now. What they are looking into, it's tied to this. So, before the uh, last ele latest elections in Israel, there were talks about a law that will essentially uh, obligate any newspaper to charge money for the distribution of their newspaper. So you can't just uh, give them away for free. And this is a big deal because essentially what Israel Today did was uh, destroy the, the, the printed press in Israel. Everyone now has essentially, they have to give away their newspapers for free or they can't hold their heads above their water. Um, and and there, there were talks about this and what the police has found out is uh, a, uh, they have a recording of Benjamin Netanyahu talking to um, one of the, um, what you call him, I guess he's, he's the CEO of a, a uh, media outlet, of, of, a, of a newspaper, uh, and, and he is known as one of, uh, of, of Netanyahu's chief rivals. His name is Noni Moses. And in their talks, in the, the talks that were recorded, Essentially, Bibi says that he will um, that he will uh, make that law happen so long as Moses prints favorable items about Netanyahu, and this is election season, mind you. So, this is the second issue that. Uh, the police are looking into. Um, third, and this is the big one, I believe, is, okay, so a couple of years ago, I'm not exactly uh, sure when, there was a deal between uh, Israel and ThyssenKrupp, ThyssenKrupp is a German uh, corporation, which, among other things, they uh, they sell um, nuclear submarines. Uh, not just submarines, but this is one of the things that they they export. And it seems that Israel bought submarines from ThyssenKrupp, and it seems that among the army leadership many did not think that uh, submarines these submarines were necessary and where it gets interesting is that the lawyer representing Thyssenkrupp is 
an Israeli lawyer, who among other things also represents Benjamin Netanyahu and is also related to him, as in family ties. Hmm. So the police are looking into these three things. And this is curious. I, again, I can make no predictions as to whether or not uh, there will be an indiction, in, indiction, I believe, whatever. Uh, and, and if there will be an indiction, whether or not um, he will actually be, um, you know, uh, uh, will be found guilty. Um, but but it, it's interesting because, you know, it can definitely cause the ground here to shake. To, and maybe cause a bit of a, of a much needed chaos here. Uh, a scrambling of the cards, you know, uh, shuffling of the cards. And maybe we'll find new leaders rising uh, to the forefront. Currently, a lot of people say that Bibi is the only person who can lead Israel. Uh, obviously, I do not believe that, but this is the kind of the general um, um, opinion. And it'll be curious to see what happens if something comes out of this. Um, not that there is currently any real leadership either on the right or on the left but it'll be interesting to see who seizes the opportunity if something comes out of this so that's just a short update about like the news here and well i guess i'll see you guys uh next week and until then have an awesome weekend